السلام علیکم رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ and we now get to the prophets direct and immediate parents and these are of course Abdullah and Amina and so the daughter of Wahab Amina and the son of Abdul Muttalib Abdullah they agreed to get married so Abdullah got married to Amina just a few days before the caravan departed and it is said that he barely spent three or five days with her before he had to go with Kara. He spent barely a week with this new bride of his and he then departed of the caravan as you know never to be seen again. So they had an extremely short marriage because as soon as they got married he had to leave for the caravan catch the caravan go all the way to Syria on the way back from Syria and he feel severely ill with the caravan and he was slowing the caravan down and by the time they got to Yathrib which was later to become Medina he said to the caravan I am slowing you down I have relatives in Yathrib I will stay with them until I recover you go back by the time the caravan got back to Makkah Amina is all excited my husband is coming back I want to tell him that I am pregnant and lo and behold he is not with the caravan so most likely Abdullah did not even know that Amina was pregnant in fact if we believe this version of the events which is in Ibn Saad he could not have known because he was only and only with her for four days so by the time the caravan come back she is told that he is sick and he should be coming in few weeks after he recovers and then the next news comes that he has in fact passed away in Yathrib. So Amina becomes a widow at the age of 18, 19, young age, maybe even younger than this, carrying the offsprings of Abdullah and the Prophet ﷺ is born in the famous year of an elephant. In the famous hadith of Sahih Muslim that a man asked the Prophet وسلم, why do we fast on Mondays? He said this was the day I was born on and this was the day that revelation began to me. Imam Ahmed, Imam Ahmed's book of hadith and it is an authentic hadith that when my mother was carrying me, this is the first thing, that when my mother was carrying me and in one version وضعتني, gave birth to me so there were both versions are mentioned but the point is when he was either in the womb or when he came out my mother saw a light emanate from her that cast its light or it reached all the way to the city of Busra in the land of Syria so the Prophet is saying that my either in a dream or a physical light, it doesn't matter what. There is 
barakah around Masjid Al-Aqsa. This is Sham. Sham, there is barakah over there. And the Prophet Sassan predicted that Sham will remain a fortress of Islam. There's always going to be people of Islam in uh, Sham. And amazingly, Sham was the first major province that was conquered after the Arabian Peninsula. Right after the death of the Prophet Sassan, in the time of Umar ibn Khattab, Sham was conquered. And one of the first cities, maybe even the first city, that was outside the Arabian Peninsula is Muslim. So there is an indication that the Prophet is going to challenge the history. Empire. It was the jewel of, of the Romans. It was where everything happened, commerce and trade and culture and civilization, everything was there. It was impossible for the Arabs to think that one day Damascus would be the core of Arab civilizations. The Umayyads' capital was Damascus. So by showing the light going to the borders of Syria, there's an indication that Islam is going to conquer this land. It will take over. And that's exactly what happened. That the very first land that was conquered Syria. And so his grandfather circumcised him on the seventh day.